Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we're looking at a mechanical pencil from the brand Rotaring and that model today is the Rotaring 500 which this model is the 0.7mm uh, model. This is the second up, uh, the second in the Rotaring range, the 300 being the most affordable and ranging up to the traditionally up to the 800 which is sort of a more deluxe model. This I suppose is a really nice sort of entry level mechanical pencil or everyday sort of working mechanical pencil and at around the $20 mark Australian I did have to buy this uh, online from eBay. It's a pretty good buy. So I'll give you a quick rundown of uh, the, the pencil and the parts of, of it. The guide pipe, uh, unlike some of the more expensive models, is not retractable. Uh, it leads into a really lovely machined aluminium uh, section, which is a nice diameter to fit in the hand. It's got a plastic body with a red uh, print, a nice flexible but still sort of relatively strong metal clip. Uh, the lead weight indicator window, which ranges from two a, uh, 4H uh, through to 2B, which is what I have in it. You get a cr two chrome rings with the red ring, the rotor ring, uh, in the middle, and then you get the rubber cap. Uh, which has the rubber and of course what the uh, entry for the compartment, uh, the lead compartment. Uh, it's weighted down towards the, uh, the, the point right on the section so it feels nice in the hand, it's not sort of too heavy uh, at all. And in terms of the measurements it's 14.2 centimeters long, uh, it's got a, a section diameter of 8mm and a barrel diameter of 9mm which makes it a nice sort of traditional feeling uh, size pencil in your hand. In terms of comparison, um, here's it next to a traditional wood case pencil, the Palomino 602, the Blackwing, and then the uh, Pentel Twist Erase which is one of my favourite mechanical pencils, the, here the 0.5 model which is uh, not quite as long, but a little bit wider and the section is much wider with that sort of rubber, that rubber grip. The pencil came uh, with sort of a, what I assumed was an HB uh, lead included, which didn't really do anything for me. It was also quite a brittle lead. So I managed to, I've swapped it out with a sort of my preferred everyday lead, which is the Pentel High Polymer Super 2V uh, in 0.7 which is a really nice uh, soft 2B and glides really well on the page. So as I said, this pen feels nice in the hand because it's got a nice sort of diameter, not too dissimilar from a regular uh, traditional woodcase pencil. And the weight of it is balanced much more towards um, the, the section. So it sort of feels nice in your hand and the weight's doing the work for you. It's a really smooth action um, and the lead advancement is really good and it does retract all the way back in uh, when you're not using it, which is quite nice. The eraser I've tried, it's certainly not the best eraser, uh, but you don't expect that on a lot of these mechanical pencils and I generally tend to use them more for uh, stopping the, the lead falling out really. Uh, the, the eraser cap does have, not sure how you'd be able to see that, does have a hole all the way through, um, so that's not going to do the work for you, so yeah, I don't necessarily use those erasers for that purpose. I really like this pencil, um, it's a good entry level pencil, being the sort of the, the second in the, in the line. It's worth investigating, if you're interested in this line of pencils, it's worth investigating this model uh, before you move on to the 600 or the 800, both of which are are really really wonderful pencils but this one in that sort of middle range as I said around this $20 Australian mark um, you can get it for it's pretty it's pretty good I'll just do a quick writing sample uh, with the pencil just so you can sort of see it in action um, so what we have here is the Rotaring 500.07 mechanical pencil
As I said, the lead is the Pentel High Polymer Super 2B, uh, which is a really nice soft 2B pen, uh, lead. Um, this pen feels really nice uh, in your hand. It's certain, it's the action is really nice. It's you, it feels solid. It's it's a pen, it's a pencil that is um, easy to use. It's easy to hold. I sometimes find, particularly with say the the Twister Race, that even though it's got a nice sort of soft rubber uh, section, that it's just a little bit too big. If you're used to writing with um, a regular pencil, uh, then that is quite a wide section. It's much more akin to some of the like a fountain pen or um, sort of some of the standard sort of uh, rollable pens in a lot of ways. So this is quite nice uh, in the hand. I really like the fact that the body on this one isn't metal, so you get a real difference between the feeling of the grip section, particularly with that machined, gnarled sort of uh, grip, and then the smooth sort of pl cool plastic of the rest of the of the rest of the barrel. I really recommend this pen. I think it's worth, as I said, I think it's worth looking at if you're wanting to get a, a mechanical pencil and try something that's a little bit more than sort of your everyday disposable mechanical pencils or the plastic models. This is a really nice one. I am my biggest concern with this pencil is that non-retractable. Uh, guide pipe. If that bends or breaks or whatever, then you're sort of uh, in a bind. But for twenty dollar, for a twenty dollar pencil, if you need to replace it, then well, you just uh, replace it when you can. It's certainly worth the money. And as far as mechanical pencils go, I think it's a really, really lovely option and a beautiful model. So that was the Rotaring Five Hundred. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the notifications button if you'd like to be kept up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, and if you've got any questions or uh, anything you'd like me to look at, pens, pencils, inks, notepaper, please drop me a message. You can either message me here on YouTube or at my blog, which is linked below. In the meantime, enjoy your pencils, keep writing, and I'll see you later.